I once knew a man that was so jealous of some of his co-workers that it literally consumed him. He had a promising career path. He was happy in his career, but he was so focused on others and like a horse race, looking at people that might be slightly ahead of him, that it destroyed his career. He was literally miserable. He made himself sick, and he could not cure himself of it. Well, after he was let go, he devoted his life for the next year while he was looking for a new job to prayer and allowing the full love of God to come through him. And his life changed, and perhaps it was one of the best things that ever happened to this gentleman. Because if he was going to stay on the course that he was on, the jealousy would have consumed him and literally would have eaten away his body. It is something that gets in you and it causes rot. William Penn once said, The jealous are troublesome to others, but a torment to themselves. And in James 3, verse 16, it says, Where jealousy and selfishness are, there will be confusion and every kind of evil. Well, are you too wise at this point in your life to be consumed by feelings of jealousy? Now, Jesus taught to love our neighbors, not to envy them. But sometimes, despite our best intentions, we fall prey to feelings of jealousy or envy. Sometimes it's very quiet. It's, it's subliminal. We don't even realize, but we look on others and we wish that we could have what they have. Why? Why? Because we're human, I suppose, and because we live in a world that places great importance upon material possessions. But to focus on these possessions only is short-sighted, and it's very unwise. Those aren't things that matter to God, and we shouldn't allow them to take a precedence above everything else in our own lives. The next time that you feel the, the incredible pain of envy, remind yourself of two things. Number one, jealousy and selfishness never generate anything good. Number two, God has already showered you with so many blessings that as a thoughtful, thankful person, you already know it's far better to focus on those than to let jealousy of others distort your view and literally torture your soul. I wish you a wonderful week, a non-jealous week, a week where you can transfer all jealousy to love and good feelings of others.